I'm going to give it one more minute and then we'll get started. Thank you guys. Got quite a few people on this call, more than last one. That's good. Okay, let's get started. Thank you so much for joining our hub call, all hands on deck. We won't take up too much of your time, but we want to try to get everyone um, regrouped and started um, this year for new content and new projects for the hubs. We wanted to give everyone an update. Um, I use the old cliche, it's a marathon, not a sprint, <laughs> because everyone that who's been on here originally knows we're starting our fifth year of the hub, <clears throat> which is amazing. Um, and you guys have done some amazing, um, very diligent work that um, we're so proud of to have on the website. And we very much appreciate each and every one of you. Um, you've worked tirelessly. I have been um, on a lot of your calls and just an, a, a total um, amazement of all of the great work that everyone's done. So thank you. We're at a really good point right now, I believe, and a lot of the content has been completed. Um, I know everyone's a little nervous because if you worked on new content this past year or if you um, you know, changed over to the new format um, with Sam, you might not see your content up yet, um, but we are working on that. Um, As of uh, yesterday, it's all actually posted now. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so yes, you guys can take a look and see how it looks. Um, we still got a few more. I think I'm waiting on to be sent to me, but otherwise we are in great shape with that. Um, we got to have a little glitch because um, we transitioned to the new website. So the new content um, wasn't able to be posted until now, but it, it's um, there. I'm looking forward to seeing it myself. So thank you. Um, we have new leadership this year. I know I saw Maria Batisto Durand on the call. Is Katie Wiggins able to join us today? She's been really busy. I think she's on service for work this week, um, so probably didn't make it. But um, it's been a great year for Ian and I, great year, five-year period, but um, we have um, decided we need some new energy for the hub. And so Katie Wiggins and Maria Batista Duran have volunteered to be our new co-leaders this year and we'll be transitioning into next year. Um, and then we'll start rotating this every two years, um, similar to what they do for the other committees for um, PTS. Welcome, Maria. Do you have any words of wisdom for us? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, no, I am going to be learning your role, Melanie. So um, or no words of wisdom as of this this moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're thrilled, thrilled to have you. And it's going to be um, great. It's nice to have that overlap um, with Ian and myself and you and Katie um, this year to kind of get the transition in. Um, Hub lead leads, if you're on the call, if you can assure participation of your individual hub teams, maybe shoot them an email and make sure that they still want to continue volunteering. And then we'll get a master list started again. And if you need more volunteers, if you feel like um, folks are tired and have dropped out, um, please let us know. We'll make sure to find um, help you find some more volunteers for your hub teams. Um, also, if um, the hub leaders could work with Johanna to get decide the cadence of the meetings, if you want to restart the same cadence, just shoot her an email and let her know, um, and she will diligently, um, as she's done in the past, make sure that the calendar invites um, for the Zoom calls are all on your calendars. Um, so just, um, you know, assure if you want to 
send a doodle poll to pick another time if the time you selected last year didn't seem to work for folks. Um, just let Johanna know she can help with all of that. We sent out an application for fellows, new fellows, um, because I think we wore the other fellows out. We really appreciate the work that JP, Natasha, and Corey have done. I saw that Corey is on this call. Um, he will be returning as a lead fellow, um, but we sent applications out. And to date, um, we've closed the application process because we received 18 applications which is amazing that um, there are that many people interested. And it's because of the work that JP, Natasha, and Corey put forth to begin with over the past several years that we now have so much interest in people wanting to help with this project. So we'll be looking through those applications and decide how many fellows we might need. Um, we'll probably pick more than the three that we had previously since we have 18 applications but we look forward to look, reviewing them and, and making that selection. Um, and, you know, if we need any feedback from you all, we will certainly get that, but we appreciate the work that Corey's done and, and welcome him back. Corey, you have anything to add to that? No, I, I really appreciate the kind words. That's awesome that you guys got 18 applications and I assume that <laughs> I, hopefully I'm guessing that was mostly by you know word of mouth I know the emails went out but if I was just a person sitting around I probably wouldn't have even noticed it so that's awesome and I look forward to meeting them and the support and you know I think having a good number of helpers we can kind of get a lot done so that's awesome yes agreed agreed we're excited to have this many um, fellows wanting to to help with the projects um Johanna and Katie sent emails to other organizations asking them to place links onto their website for the hub. We felt like we were in a good place now to be able to do this. Um, any feedback, Johanna or Katie, um, that we've heard whether or not they're on the websites? I think you said um, the other day, Society of Trauma Nurses plans to place it on their website. Are there um, others? SCN is going to be discussing at their board meeting if they want to place it. And I don't believe we've heard back from any of their organizations yet. Okay. I think we sent the email maybe around the holiday time. So I think um, Johanna had offered to send it out again, um, just to kind of remind um, various organizations um, that that's possible for them to do. And we'll hopefully get some good feedback from them. The pre-hospital team has was put on hold towards the end of the year last year. They put out some great work, but we realized there are not a lot of national, nationally written guidelines for EMS and pre-hospital people. Um, and so Ian is going to connect with some of their leadership and see if they're interested in potentially developing some guidelines along with PTS. Um, so because um, in doing the literature reviews, I know I see Falco on, or I did see Falco there, and um, I'm not sure if there's anybody else from pre-hospital, but it was hard to find the literature um, to see, you know, what's out there. So I think this will be a really great opportunity and we'll have to kind of figure out, um, do we keep them in the hub or do we start maybe a pre-hospital guideline, um, like subcommittee of the guidelines committee to start looking at that. And if anybody has any continued interest in working with that group, um, more than happy to bring you on board with that. Oh, I see Sandra on. Yeah, Sandra, did you have anything to add? I don't think her mic is working. Okay. But she yeah, said that's it was okay. challenging. Okay. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. So we'll we'll have more to come with the pre-hospital. The other project that we wanted to try to get started this year are some video podcasts because we feel like there's some content um, placed on the hub that needs just a little bit more content and information. Um, 
And so as you're starting back this year, if you will work with your teams and help us determine what that content might look like if we were to start doing some video podcast. Um, Corey is interested in helping with this, and I've heard of other people that are also interested in helping with the podcast. This might be kind of a separate team of people that take hub content and um, start the video podcast, or it could be, you know, your hub team. Um, we don't want to wear people out. We've already, you've spent so many of your volunteer hours with the hub. Um, if we need to find some new people to help work with video podcasts, we can, but if it's something that you're interested in and you feel like your content um, might be missing a little bit more extensive information and would like to help with these podcasts, we would love to have the assistance and we'll get the new fellows working on this project as well. And we're starting out with kind of a slow goal. It would be nice to have several podcasts by November's meeting, but we'd like to at least have one. Um, so we will um, keep our ears open for people that are interested. If you are, give us a, a ring, an email, and um, we will certainly um, put you on the team to help with these. And we're thinking just um, two or three minutes worth of content, not a lot. Um, but we feel like this would be a really valuable part of the hub to, to get started with. Some of our content has been posted for five year period. Um, and so we determined last year that we wanted to um, start looking at any content that needs to be revised. So this will be a project for each of the hub teams this year. Um, if you have new content to develop, still make that your first priority. Um, but if you feel like your hub is filled with the, the best content, um, but some of maybe your um, guidelines are pushing on four or five years, um, let's take a look at those as teams and rinse, lather, and repeat <laughs> your content um, and just check online and make sure there aren't any new guidelines. I know for critical care, um, some of ours are five years old, so we need to take a look back on those and um, determine if there's some new guidelines out there. And if so, we'll make some revisions, um, which I think will be um, super important. So Johanna and Katie are putting us on a two-year cycle to do that starting this year. We'll start in March. I've offered up our critical care team to start looking at ours first. And each of the hub teams will have a month in this year for 2024 um, to start looking at your content. So we'll do March. Um, we'll have someone else do April. Johanna has come up with a nice calendar for us to um, achieve this. And so if your month is April, please um, use your April month meeting to take a look at your content and see if there needs to be any new content um, listed um, in your guideline, if it needs to be revised. And as I said, just continue first um, also, you know, in the forefront is developing any new content, but we feel like the content that we have on there now is pretty solid. So it's time to kind of take that um, and repeat looking for new content. We wanna especially thank Katie and Johanna. They have done an amazing job keeping us all organized with our calendar invites, um, communicating with the teams and just very much appreciated um, for their work. And I'm going to miss it after next year because it really has been a labor of love for me to work with all these teams. You guys are incredible and um, really, really very much appreciate all the volunteer time that you've put into this work. I'll open it up for any thoughts or questions or issues that anyone has. Please feel free, this open forum to speak out um, if you have any questions or any concerns. 
I'll I'll go ahead um on the podcast front just to get it out there to whoever's um in the meeting now. I have a history or a history doing podcasts, audio podcasts, um, in a non medical forum. And so in the last year, um, my goal was to get a podcast going where we circulated an audio podcast on like a maybe once every two weeks type of basis. Um, and ultimately just got a little bit caught up in my clinical work. Um, I got one full episode recorded and edited and was going to like present it to, you know, kind of get approval and such to keep going forward with it. And then just kind of got tied up. So I have that in my back pocket um, and probably would just need help, whether that's like kind of an own hub section um, or such. I don't have as much video experience since like middle school, um, but like with the <laughs> right, yeah, right. With like the right help though, I actually, I'll, I'll plug myself here. I won the number one music video in the state of Florida as a seventh grader. Oh, um, wow. That yeah, is yeah. pretty, for a middle schooler, that's yeah. pretty darn good, yeah. Corey. Yeah. Congratulations. Was, yeah, yeah, no, it was, that was like my <laughs> first, good, my first award I ever won um, was way back when, but I, I'm, I'm rusty on that, but it would probably be like a good natural way where, you know, if I can get the help and more of the accountability, to be quite honest, to kind of keep the audio podcast going so we can get that started, then we could just publish you know, when I record that, we just record a mini kind of video podcast that's shorter. You know, I think my podcast would range from 10 to 25 minutes. And then if we just make a small video with that person, they kind of get released together. So you can either get the quick little video or the podcast and they'll refer to each other and it'd probably be good. So I think I just need a little bit of kind of help on that front, but I really think it's, it's probably a great idea. So, so we'll just have to kind of talk about it some more. Yeah, and we'll get some people that, um, I know Maria said she was interested in helping and um, just open call to anyone who um, likes the idea of, if even if you've never done any videos, podcasts before, mm-hmm. um, jump in there. But if you have any experience, that would be fantastic as well. So um, thank you, Corey, for that information. Yeah, no, we you. look forward to getting that started this year. Anybody else? Everybody's raring to go with their new teams. And we haven't really um, asked for new volunteers because people just keep coming back to this work. And so we're really grateful for that. Um, I know we might have a few folks drop off this year. Um, Hub leads, if you'll check on this and see. and, and we'll try to get you some more help if you need it. But so far, people are sticking with us, which um, we love. And I have reached out to all the Hub volunteers. They all received an email from me. I had a few people drop off, but I can send out updated rosters to leads when I send out um, requests for doodle polls and meeting schedules. Awesome. Sounds good. Okay. Um, give another minute or two for any other thoughts or questions. This session, I think both sessions were recorded. So um, if you know of anyone that didn't hear it, um, I believe there's a plan to send the link out. Okay, we had 29 folks on this call. That's great. We only had about 10 on the other one. So this was good timing for everyone. But we've got some chats. Let's check those. Jen Roberts says she's excited to remain a part of the group. Karen would like to join the pre-hospital group. We can do that. Um, Sandra doesn't have a mic. That's okay. Um, And Karen's having to drop off. I think that's everybody. Okay, cool. Let's get going here, team, and see what we can uh, create over the next few months. And then we'll all meet up in Charlotte, North Carolina to view our great uh, work. So, oh, I did want to mention, did anyone, um, I think the deadline's coming up pretty soon, but did anyone want to try to do a um, breakout session or feature um, their hub content in a... um, one of the pre-sessions. Um, I sent out a call for that 
um, but I didn't get any feedback from anyone. So um, I know the guidelines committee is working on our PTSD um, study and guideline that we're developing. Um, we're, we've submitted that for, or are submitting it for a um, pre-session for the group, but I didn't know. Hey, this is Megan. Um, hey, Megan. I'm, I'm on the mental health hub group and I haven't spoke to them about this. I think some of our meetings have been canceled, but I am also in Charlotte and I have a very strong trauma survivors network, a mental health screening group um, who expressed interest to me in reaching out to someone from PTS and doing a trauma survivors network. Oh. Panel. We, could e we could even bring survivors um, in because we have a whole group of volunteers uh, from pediatrics to families. If the committee was interested in that, I'm more than happy to talk more about that with you and to share with you. We're also part of TRP at MUSC and Tatiana is happy to join a group with us as well to talk about TSN, TRP, um, and mental health screening kind of all together if that would be of interest or to just have a whole panel of survivors we do have enough survivors that we could do a, a survivors panel if that was of interest i love that idea um do you think megan you would mind reaching out to your committee members on the hub and see if um you know there's some good feedback from that i think it's fantastic sure. and then um i know the deadline is coming up um katie or johanna do you know the deadline march 4th okay so you just have know, a few, few days to pull it. The, I know the lead for the mental health hub has changed a couple of times. Can you let me know who the, the lead is for that? Hub yeah. Now? Johanna, do you have the list? Um, um, it is Julia Price and um, I'm blanking on the other one. Hold on. Yeah, me too. And Julia um, is the one that submitted um, the PTSD screening um, guideline um, for the meeting, um, but she may, you know, I'm sure she'd be interested in helping maybe with both, just with the survivors um, panel as well. So I would reach out to her. Okay. Um, so Julia and then... I just put their emails in the chat. It's Lynn Horton and Julia Price. Oh yeah. Lynn is still okay. Yeah. So okay. just maybe shoot them an email, Megan. And, um, if we can get some good, um, leverage with getting this started, you guys don't mind the, the application is not that long. It's pretty short. It's like a one pager. Um, yeah, I saw the application and I've already talked to my team to get objectives and title and everything like that. So oh, wow. that would be quick and easy to do. I love that. That would be awesome. So um, you could either do a breakout session or an early riser session. And um, I think the committee itself, the program committee decides what's the best fit. But you you choose like to start with if you think it would be, you know, better for um the pre-conference or um, a breakout session. And then okay. they 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 do the final say, I think, on it. The program committee does, but um, that would be amazing. And then you could probably bring in, you know, some of your hub content that the mental health team has. Um, you could present some of that as well, I think, in there. Right. Nice. Okay. Uh I'll reach out to them. Thank you. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you. Anyone else? Hey, Megan. Hey, y'all. This is Brianna Greenville. Um, you had mentioned Tatiana. So we are part of the grant with that as well, Megan. Um, so we're the one of the four centers that's doing that and dr gates is our previous um peds tmd and he's doing a lead study so i'm i think that they were already putting in to present um but again i'll follow back up with that too but i think that's a great topic
Cool. So, uh, Brianna, yeah, will you connect with Megan and just see to make sure um, that, you know, it wouldn't be overlap or whatever, but that would be nice. Yeah, I will do that. Okay, cool. Thanks, Brianna. All right. Well, <laughs> thank you. Thank you all. And um, we'll just keep moving along. You guys have our emails. If you get stuck or give us a, give me a phone call. Um, if you've got questions or concerns as you move through this year, and um, I'll try to be on as, um, as many of the calls as I can. And um, Maria and Katie will as well um, as Ian. So um, please let us know um, what we can do to to help you guys. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye, everyone. Have a good weekend coming up.